King Charles looks set to push ahead with a steady changing of the guards as he prepares to enact his long-held plans to slim down the monarchy. Charles is understood to have plans to eventually cut down the number of working royals to a core team of seven, including himself, Camilla, the Queen Consort, Prince William, and Kate Middleton. Vanity Fair's royal correspondent Katie Nichol suggested that the change would be steady rather than immediate. She also suggested that Princess Anne, along with Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex, may have saved themselves from being swiftly cut from the working royal rota. However, she reiterated that all those not in direct line of accession were at risk of being dumped. Ms. Nichol, who recently authored New Royals, told Palace Confidential, Charles' plans for a slimmed-down monarchy have been long known. He is determined that the monarchy will not be a drain on the taxpayer's purse. She continued, I don't think Charles is going to start kicking his relatives out of their grace and favor apartments, especially the elderly cousins of the Queen. But there is going to be a change of guard, and it is going to be narrowed. Ms. Nichol pointed to the cover of her new book, which features Charles, Camilla, the late Queen as well as the Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children. The royal correspondent remarked, that cover of the book, that is all about what the top tier of the monarchy looks like. That's what it looks like to Charles. But he has also got what the Queen referred to as her substitutes, the Wessexes and the Princess Royal. I think they have proven themselves as really important and valuable assets. This comes as Princess Anne made a surprise visit to New York City this week, including a trip on the Staten Island Ferry, which shuttles passengers between Lower Manhattan and the borough of Staten Island for free. After arriving in New York, the Princess Royal spoke at a gala dinner for the English-speaking Union of the United States before visiting the National Lighthouse Museum in St. George, Staten Island. Anne is an honorary chair for the museum's Illuminating Future Generations campaign. The surprise visit was scheduled before Queen Elizabeth's death, according to a royal source who spoke to People magazine. King Charles gave her permission to go ahead with the trip as planned, signaling that Anne will remain a key figure in the monarchy for the time being.